Hey guys, it's Brianna. Today we are talking about split embroidery for appliques. Previously I said this wasn't possible, but I have never tried it, so today we're going to try it, because why not? The worst that could happen is it doesn't work. This is part one. We are going to be setting up the file for a split applique, and then go ahead and watch part two for if this actually works or not, because how do you split an applique in half? Quick little disclaimer, this is the Embrilliance Essentials software that I'm using, and it is a paid software. It is not free. In Embrilliance, you're going to press this little file folder, and you're going to select your file. Today I'm doing an Apple because I do applique sweatshirts for teachers, so I'm doing one of those today. Next, to add a font, you're just going to press the little A, select the drop down for which type of font you want. and then type in your text. For mine, I'm doing a teacher's name. I'm gonna press enter, and that's going to pop up your text on the screen. I'll move the letters exactly how I want them. I like to put them closer together because cursive shouldn't be broken up like this. And it's really easy. You just use the little green dots, move it over until you get it the way that you like. As you can see, this name is too big for a four x four hoop and it's got the red line prompted on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is change it to multi-hoop. I'm gonna press this little file folder, select multi-position, then I select the large hoop two times, rotate 90 degrees, and click apply, then select okay. After that, it's gonna blow it up on the screen. I'm not sure why it does that, so just press the negative button on the side so you can see the entire surface of your embroidery. I could leave the design like this, but I wanna make it look a little bit more proportionate. And since the name is so long, I'm gonna make the apple bigger, as big as I can make it without it touching the outer lines. Select this button right here to center the design. Now I'm just making the text a little bit bigger and doing the same thing, pressing the button to center it and then pressing the down arrow key until it is in the correct little spot for this apple applique. Next I'm going to show you how to change the color. So click on the layer you want to change the color for. I'm going to use the one that says letters, which is the text. Move it over to where it says color. Click on the color and then I'm going to change it to black and then select OK. And you can do that for any of these layers. So say you want a purple apple, you can do that as well. The last thing we're going to do is save the file. So you're going to go up to the top where it says file, select save stitch file as, type in whatever you want the file to be named. It'll automatically make it split design. So I'm just going to name it apple the teacher's name, put it on my desktop, press save, then exit out of Embrilliance. These are the three files that are going to show up on your computer. Let's open up the first one. Here is the first half and it looks kind of weird. It's got this black border that we didn't put on there, so we're going to get rid of that. Select this little arrow and it's going to show you all of the layers for this design. Select the very first one and it is the outline. Press the delete key and we're gonna get rid of it. Then go like you're going to get out of the program, select save, and then name this one whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine apple Q bottom, because that's just what it prompted it as first, so I'm just gonna keep it the same to keep it nice and easy. Select the second one, do the same thing, click the drop down to make all the layers visible, Delete that black line, exit the program, press save, and change this one to Apple Q top. Select save. So instead of these three files, you should have four files. The ones that say .be, you do not need. You just need the ones that say dot .whatever your machine reads. So my machine's a brother machine, so it reads .pes. So I'm going to use those two files, drag them over to a geek stick, and then bring that over to my machine, and you're ready to embroider. If you're seeing all those files and you're like, well, why do I only need the .pes? 
If you wanted to revisit this design without having to redo all of the work that we did, you just want to change the name every time that someone wants a teacher sweatshirt, what you're going to do is go to File, Save Working File As, whatever you want. Mine's going to be Split Apple, and you'll have .be. Select Save. And then when you go over to your desktop, it's going to be just this one file, splitapple.be. An easy way to remember the difference between these is a working file is going to stay on your computer to edit later on, and a stitch file is what you are going to be moving on to your machine. Your computer can still open a PES file like you saw before, but as you saw, it split it into two, so editing that later with someone else's name would be a complete nightmare. All right, guys, as always, if you have any questions, let me know down below. I do try my best to answer all of them with the best of my ability. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content so you can see part two. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.